What's up, YouTube? This is going to be a video talking about parties and shit. Now, like, where I'm at, where I'm at, it's like, um, see, I'm not like a party kind of person like that, for real. I mean, I guess I wouldn't mind going to parties if I was surrounded by like-minded individuals, you know, like-minded people who thought similar to myself, then I then I would actually have a good time. But most people that parties are just sheeps, and, and I really don't care to interact with people like that. Like, I don't really care, you know. Um, I only started going to parties, like, last year because I had just got off a of lockdown, and I needed something to do. And I was going to a lot of parties just to have something to do. Um, but after going through my little phase of partying and all of that, I just kind of got I just kind of got tired of it. This was like March of this year that I stopped partying, and then I went and then I tried to go to a party last week, but the shit got shut down. And then I went to a party today, and it was all right. But it's just parties. It's like a lot of times parties down here be getting shut down by the police and shit. <laughs> So I'll be getting shut down, and then, I don't know, it's just, I just really don't be feel, like feeling parties that much. I only went to, um, like, I only went to, like, one, no, two good parties the whole time that I've been, because I probably went so far in my entire life, maybe went, went to, like, 10 parties. I only had maybe three good ones. One, one was when I was 13, another one was when, um... The best one was, and that's a vlog on my channel, the 4th of July one. That was a good one. And then um, the one I had for spring break. No, 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 no. That was New Year's. That was New Year's. Yeah, that was a New Year's party. Yeah, that was New Year's. That was a good one, too. But that one was decent. That that, that one was decent. This, the, this, yeah, that one was decent. No, I only had one good party because the when I was 13, that one was decent. And then the New Year's was decent. The only good one was the 4th of July. That party was lit. Uh, it was like a block party. That was lit. But other than that, man, a lot of these parties be lame. And then it's like they be getting shut down and shit. Or not that many people show up sometimes. Or if they do show up, they just show up for a second and then leave. It's like it's just ridiculous. And, uh, and I don't care to talk about these stupid ass shit with these dumb people. Especially now that i become awoken. It's like, I don't care to talk about this stupid shit with these stupid people, man. It's just stupid, you know, <laughs> you know, and then, you know, I don't care about getting girls no more at party. So a lot of girls there, I wasn't really caring about them like that. Cause you, if you want to any time as a, uh, cause uh, you know, back when I was hanging out with a, with a couple of dudes, that I was used to rock with a lot of times, if you want to get girls, you always have to bribe them in with some form of external with some sort of external stimuli, like weed or liquor. Say, hey, baby, we got liquor. You want to come slide? It's all like you always have to have something to make them come over. You know, you can't just make them come over just because they want to see you. There's always you have to have something to make them come over. Liquor, weed. It always got to be something like that. I understand it's a party, so people are going to expect those things. But I'm just saying, in general, if you want to make a girl to come over, you always got to have something to give them. That's what I'm talking about with women. You always got to give them something to make them come over. It's never it could just be they want to see you and that's all. It always got to be you got to have something. So all women look for is just to have something. You know, it's crazy. You always got to give, you know, it's crazy, man. It's crazy how, like, today, like, you know, we had liquor and shit and everybody showed up to the party. It was like this dude's birthday party. But then somebody at the party came and stole the liquor. And when he stole the liquor, everybody fucking left. Everyone, Lord, most people fucking left. All the girls left because they there was no drink. So I'm talking about, man. You always got to have shit, you know, to keep motherfuckers around. That's some real shit. Like, that's some real shit, bro. <sighs> like, if you, if you give a motherfucker shit, they around. You don't have nothing, nigga, they on to the next thing. That's some real shit. You always got to give people shit to keep them around. Once you stop supplying the whatever it is, they're out the fucking door. But, but, the, but the people who 
was that guys, I'm not going to say I'm his friend because that, that's more so my brother's friend, but all the real niggas stuck around even even when all that shit was not there no more because, you know, but he's not my friend, but I'm just saying because they fucked with him for who he was, not because of the shit he was providing. That's what, that's how pe fake people are in this world. You always got to give people something for them to fuck with you. You always got to give them something. You don't give them nothing, they ain't going to stick around. You know, whatever. Now, obviously, you know, um, if I if, if I pull up to my boy's party and that shit lame, I'm say, hey, bro, let's go to someone else's party. Cause this shit lame. He, hey, man, let's let's go somewhere else. I'll probably tag him along somewhere else. But yeah, they just flat out left. You know that that's how you know who who your real niggas are. If they still stay with you. Even though you don't got nothing to give them. That's some real shit right there. But that's what I'm saying, man. That's what people are. You giving them something, they there. You don't, you don't you get, ain't giving them nothing, they gone. So, facts, bro. That's some real shit. Like, that's what I'm saying about these man, with these females, too. Like, you always got to give them something. You know, you ain't giving nothing, they ain't, they ain't finna show up to the party. You got always got to have some shit there. I like it for a girl. I say, hey, you want to hang out with me? And she just shows up just because she want to hang out with me. Not because I'm giving her something. You know, it's crazy. Like when I was talking to a lot of my homeboys last year, my ex-homeboys, that's how they always got women. Okay, we got, they all, we all, they all used to say, yo, we got to get the alcohol for the bitches because the bitches won't come unless we got alcohol. That's what I'm talking about. They ain't going to fucking show up unless you got some fucking liquor or weed. That's what I'm fucking talking about. They all used to say that shit. They always got want to get liquor for the hoes, man. It's it's ridiculous because they because they, they're not gonna show up unless you give them something. That's why I don't talk to too many fucking females. And like fucking so Illuminati talks about in his videos, he calls women, he calls a lot of these girls low vibrational women. Now I'm not on that spiritual shit, but I'm gonna just change the word low low vibrational women and into just sheep ass women. Like, sheep-ass, stupid-ass women, like, for real, like, I gotta change the word to, you know, like, that's that, that's how I'ma change the word, the sheep-ass women, like, you got a lot of girls who look good, but they low vibrational, they not really awoken, they not really conscious, like, it's ridiculous, so, that's why, like, you know, I mean, I'm, I ain't really looking for no girl or nothing, you know, but... I don't know, man. Fuck all these low vibrational women, man. It's stupid, man. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, man. I think that's all I wanted to say about that. But that's real shit, though, bro. I always got to give these girls some shit to make them stick around. But, I mean, that's why I don't like going to parties like that. I mean, I don't I, I, I don't care to talk. I don't smoke. I don't drink. Um, I don't mind drinking some of those. Uh, the only thing I drunk on was was those Mike lemonades. Those are pretty good. It's only five percent alcohol, so it's barely any fucking alcohol in it. Those are good. It tastes like soda pop. So I, I mean, I don't mind drinking those though. But like hard liquor, I don't drink that. So I don't really drink. I don't smoke. I don't care about getting bitches. I just don't care about that shit. I don't care about talking about dumbass shit. I don't care about being around people who don't see this matrix that we're living in. And like I said earlier about how the people stole that dude's liquor, I mean, <laughs> I mean that's 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 probably why I would probably never throw a house party. Why the fuck am I gonna bring random people in my damn house that they can probably take my shit? I mean, get the fuck out of here! I ain't doing that shit. Bringing random ass motherfuckers in my shit who can take my shit? Fuck no. Luckily, the times that I did throw a party, no one took my shit. That was good, but. That's bullshit, though. Fuck that. I ain't protecting these motherfuckers in my shit, man. Fucking up my house, you know, fucking up my shit and whatever. I mean, it's stupid, man. I mean, parties, man. A lot of them be lame, too. I don't know. I'm just not really a party person. I don't want to hang out with sheep-ass people. Maybe if I was hanging out... Well, like I said, people who are awoken, maybe I'll enjoy it a little bit more, but I don't know. I just really don't be feeling them parties that much, man. It's just too noisy and just, uh, I don't care about talking to motherfuckers, bro. Like, I'm I'm a fucking introvert. I don't like being around people like that, man. Unless it's people I fuck with. If it's not people I fuck with, I don't want to be around niggas. <laughs> For real. <clears throat> I don't. <laughs> you know? 
I used to be 50 50. I used to be 50% extrovert, 50% introvert, but this I'm 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 fully extrovert now. I mean fully introvert now. I just don't want to be around people too much, bro. Yeah. And watch that video with Vision World that I posted on my community section talking about introverts. That's all I want to say, man. I'm out.